Hi, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and today I started my Christmas tags. I My grandchildren will be here, and so of course when they get their gifts, I want them to have nice Christmas tags. Now, I make in multiples, so when I cut them out, I immediately separate them, and I use the plastic bags. Just, you know, it, it just makes it easier. So I've got four of the same of these cards, I mean, these tags. So we'll just get one out and start working on it together but I used a large size tag. I think the kids get such big eyes when they get these great big tags under the Christmas tree. And they start, they try to cheat and look and see who it's for, etc., etc. The hard part is once you get it in the bag, is getting it out of the bag, the little tiny pieces. But we want to get them out. And I've got, I think, everything I need here. Oh, I know I'm missing something. I just thought of it. Because I'm going to have to stamp here. Well, I'll grab this. This is a new um, stamp thing. I forgot what I got it with. Oh, I got it with Anna Griffith's thing. And I got a snowflake that I'm going to stamp on in little places on there. I thought about um, embossing it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use that. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to put my little my little guy together and this is how it goes. And sometimes when you get um, um, putting this stuff on you get little edges. I use a fingernail, you know, just like you have in the shops. I use one of those. I asked the lady for one and she gave me one. So and of course I use my glue that I got from Tupolito Glue, I mean Tupolito LTD. And it's um, glitter, I think. Hold on. Dries clear adhesive glitter art. Art glitter is what it's called, art glitter. And it does dry, dry clear, and that's important for me, for what I do in that. I like it clear. So, anyway, I want to get this together for you. i got to start getting some of my Christmas stuff and getting it done. I'm working on Christmas cards. I made a video of that yesterday, and I haven't even taken it off my camera yet, so I figured, oh, I'll make a video of this and get them both off, and next week you had a big treat. Um, Sandy from Ukiah has joined our design team and she's doing a three day post. Three days of posting for a beautiful carousel that she made from an SVG cut. Now, this is what you got to line everything up. Get his little feet out there. I can't believe next week is Thanksgiving. I didn't do anything for Thanksgiving this year. I didn't do any um, uh, decorations or anything like that for Thanksgiving. And uh, my son moved to Rhode Island, so he'll be in Rhode Island. My daughter is in Chicago. She'll be in Chicago. Then I have my other daughter that lives here, her and her husband, and my little Sydney will be here along with my mom. So we're keeping it nice and simple. We will probably, knowing the crew that I have here, eat off of paper plates only because everyone wants to just sit around and jabber afterwards and enjoy dessert. And I'll bet you anything we end up eating off of fancy paper plates. It was funny, uh, last Christmas, my grandson Justin, he wanted uh, us to eat off of paper plates because now, of course, he's at the age where he's got to help out with the dishes and that. So anyway, we did the paper plates, but he wanted gold silverware. So I got out my gold flatware, and we had that, which kept him happy. Now, see how fast this is going together with this little deer? Isn't he cute? I know some people like to just um, do it on the side and then show you later, but I like to sit and talk to you. 
I get some nice comments back from you. Get your little nose on there. I am going to try to take him out and find a bead that covers that. But in the meantime, I'm going to stickle it. You and I will stickle it together just to make sure that everything is just right with him. And that he goes and fits on just right. Get him under there. There we go. Okay, little deer is okay. We'll put the glue away because that's the last we're going to use of that. Now, I cannot, and I had it out, and I think I might have lent it to my daughter, my to and from stamp. So I'm going to do that a little bit later, and I'm going to put it on the back. And what I did was this wishing you joy this Christmas, and that my printer printed off of my Explore, and then it cut it out, and that's an um, Anna Griffith. I did not have that cart, but I bought the, um, the saying so that uh, I would have that. And what I want to do first is I want to figure out where this little guy is going to sit on here. He's going to sit about right there. And we're going to do some off stamping. Do it off to the side because it's very dark. See that? Because I want it light. And there's a snowflake right there. So I have to... Ah! And of course I just landed it. Dropped it. Excuse me, but i got to reach up. Hope my fat didn't hang out. That would be so embarrassing. Okay. I got some Anna Griffith stamps. And you know what? I can't remember when I put them. Okay, we're going to do that, that, and we're going to lift his tail up a little bit and put down right there. That's called stamping off. And see, we got little snowflakes in them. Put one more up there. Stamp, stamp, and one right up there. Stamp. So we have snowflakes going around. I used my Stephanie Bernard Stamps of Life ink. And now we're going to, where's, oh, ATG, right above me. And I didn't bring ribbon, but you know I'll be putting ribbon on this, so. Uh-oh, what do we do? Uh-oh. Every once in a while I do this, and I don't know why. It gets caught around there. There we go. I think when I put it up, it, sometimes it knocks up against something, and then it gives me a hard time. Okay. Now see, isn't this easy? And when you, you can make a whole bunch of uh, little tags for your children or your grandchildren in no time at all. And they enjoy it so much. There we go with that. Now, we want, we've got him. And I want to pop him up so he has a little depth. I've been working on my Christmas cards every day, and then I thought, ooh, i got to get this done, and I need a video, and I cut it out today. So, that'll be just fine. Let me get him on here.
I could go with a wiggle one, but I really don't want to. I've got so many of them that i got to make that I really don't want to. And then he's right there. Yeah. And he's got a little depth to him. Now, I got my little, see my little, um, I got this in a camp scrapbook.com, I think. And it's a case, and it holds all your stickles. And I've got stickles on the bottom row, and stickles and, no, I've got, uh, excuse me, stickles and pearls on the bottom row. And so we're going to stickle his nose, make it shiny. already and then all you have to do is put your white ribbon and remember I told you I don't have my white ribbon right here but I will put some on now isn't that adorable let me zoom in for you so you can see how cute he looks let's move it a little bit my craft room is such a mess it's like Santa's workshop in here I've got the Christmas cards little bit over halfway done just a little bit over I need 75 cards no I don't even have it halfway I've got 35 done and I need 75 and then I usually end up with 80 so I'm getting there but isn't that just adorable don't you want to take him home he's a cutie it says wishing you joy this Christmas and again you can get that right on um, line on your uh, design space and it's 99 cents and you know you're going to use the Christmas stuff all the time and I use the same thing I just did a print with uh, four and I have all four to do here and just as cute as cute can be thank you for joining me today you too gotta get on the ball, get your Christmas stuff done. There's cards to be made, there's tags to be done, there's placemats, and guess what? I just looked up, I found my tune from. But now my nose is wet, so I can't put it on the nose yet. But I found it anyway. So I'm gonna put that on the back, and as you can see, it's got a white back, and I'll just stamp it on there, and it's all ready. And isn't that just adorable? Thank you. Come back and see us again. Bye now.